Hey there guys, welcome back to some more Let's Play Super Mario 64. I am Tennis Boba 13. Last episode we took air of course number five. And now we're ready to tackle course number six, this strange liquid goo paint well not really paint like substance. No, this is not Mario 6 or Sunshine. But rather, um, some weird metallic liquids. Is that's what's happening. I'm, I'm sticking to it. Anyways, let's get started. Course number six. We're actually not going to be uh, starting the first star. We're going to be doing the first star mission, but not exactly do that kind of mission. So <clears throat> you'll see soon enough. But um, how's everything going? Uh, E3 is over. I'm pretty much recording this right after E3. So whole new recording session to manipulate and uh <laughs> well let's just miss this game miss this game i've also missed these rocks these rocks are something that i can always be friends with <laughs> not really but um uh so anyways we need to go down this path here there's another star over there but how will we get there hmm i always like this course because one the music here is kind of nice it's a nice remix of uh the underground music for I don't even know why I keep doing that. <laughs> um, Mario, you're gonna have to get used to controls in this game. Yeah, <clears throat> so there's your proof that I'm playing this on the Wii U version. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get started. Um, so in this little area, also the music changes too when you're like in this area. So it's kind of cool. Also, uh, this creature right here, um, I almost call this Lapras, but at the same time it's not really Lapras, it's uh... I think it's called, like, either Bessie or Lessie, I don't know. Anyways, in order for you to, uh, make this guy lower your head, occasionally Mario is just going to ground pound the living shit out of this creature and, uh, ride on its head. But we need, we need this creature for one or two things. <clears throat> one is that, uh, that star over there. We can get that star if we wanted to, but, um, we're not gonna be doing that. There's a little doorway over here with the camera. We'll just focus right there. Perfect. <laughs> I still... Just why? This camera is just oblivious. But anyways, what's in this doorway? Well, uh, there are, in fact, another little metallic pool area right here. But this li this little secret area takes you to... Huzzah! <clears throat> Welcome to the metal cap switch course. Once you step on the cap switch, the green blocks will become solid. Just like Metal Mario. <laughs> when you turn your body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it! Also, you're invincible. That's it. That's pretty cool. It's like a star power up, but uh, an, an invincible star power up. Uh, but we, we need to get some red coins here as well. So, not only that, there's also a box that I'm not gonna risk it. If you fall out of this area, by the way, uh, that waterfall over there will take you to the uh, front entrance of the castle. So, don't do this unless you have a meaning to do it. <laughs> Just don't do it! Anyways, um, there's some red coins over here. You can grab some of those. And, uh, ooh, would you look at that? There's a switch. Okay, just gotta be careful. Grab this. Whenever I turn with you, Mario, I'm just always nervous. <laughs> Uh, cause in certain platforming situations, if there's like a small platform and I just like... Yeah, cause Mario doesn't really have much stable controls. But anyways, let's hit the switch. <laughs> so here we go, we got the last switch stepped. And uh, we now get metal caps, which makes Mario invincible and can walk underwater. So it's pretty cool. We're also going to be using that to get the last star in um, Jolly Roger Bay, cause we're missing a star from that. Why don't we just go ahead and uh, grab these red coins first? I think all of them are just right here. Perfect. And I think that box over there by that waterfall is probably just an extra life. I'm not gonna go get it, obviously. Here we go, grab this and star number 43. Here we go! Okay. So, with that being said and done, I'm gonna save and, uh,. There's a trick to actually getting back to the front of the uh, main area, so I'm gonna just jump back in the level and uh, just select this mission. But more importantly, 
exit course, and this takes us back right to this spot. So instead of having to backtrack all the way, it's kind of cool. Alright, so now that we have all the caps, let's go ahead and now head back into Jolly Roger Bay to f finally finish off this place through the jet stream. That's our last star mission here. And uh, here we go. There's our metal cap right here if we want. <laughs> Fun fact, the metal caps were an item in Smash Brothers Melee, I believe. So that was their first appearance as an item in this game. So that's cool. Um, we actually want to go over... There's another metal cap box, if, I do, if I'm not mistaken here. I think it's up above this side, which we can just take advantage of and you know, go through jet streams. Because I'm pretty sure there is. I'm, I've seen some videos of people doing this without the metal caps, and I think it is possible. But um, if, if you're really good at swimming, then that's another thing. So, anyways, down, down, down below, and uh, we don't really have a we have a time limit on this thing. So as you can see, there we go. Got it! Just before we ran out. <laughs> That's it. That's pretty much it of Course 3. <laughs> Done with that. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and probably meet you guys over at World 6 again. So, just be right back. Alrighty. Let's, let's finally start this level off properly. Swimming Beast in the Cavern. So, that was basically that large creature over there. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's basically what that is, so pretty much just head back over this way again. Um, there's also a couple of shortcuts we can do, but this is kind of a risky shortcut, because if you mess this up, you're pretty much plundered into that hole, which can take you out of the level. So, oh god, oh god, oh god. Mario, it's like, when I say stuff, it's, it's just like a curse. It's like a commentary curse. If I say something that's going to probably affect my actions of this game... Then I am for I am pretty much subdued to that curse. It's pretty much just a thing. You can just ground pound, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's just go ahead. There's a there's a few other stars we can do down here, but obviously we're gonna just take care of uh, this star right there on the nice little hill platform or island, whatever you want to call it, the Star Island. <laughs> All right, the you. Mr. Bessie. I think later on, uh, it's- I think they've, like, done a remake design on, uh, this- this fellow here in the 3DS- or not the 3DS, the DS version. So I think they gave him- they gave him, like, some goggles and some- he looks like- he almost looks like a Yoshi, but, um, it's a little bit interesting design. But, uh, I don't know, I might show off this, the picture, like, on screen or something like that, just to see if there's a comparison. But anyways, start number 45, done. Alright, hey, got 13 coins, sweet. <laughs> okay, let's just backflip with style, right back into the level. Elevate for 8 red coins. Um, I'm actually going to be saving that star for later. I think what I want to do now is, well, we can probably just do this. Go metal, let's just go full metal. Full Metal Mario. <laughs> Coming soon to an anime movie theater near you. I don't know. It's an anime! It's not. <laughs> but anyways, um... So this is the way we need to go if we want to get the red coins. Um, there's also a bunch of these little... These little guys here that uh, give us three coins, so... We're gonna be using those to our advantage for the 100 coin missions, which... Um, I'll probably save that for later, but let's just go inside this room. Um, this is the part where the maze kicks in in the level, as you can see, like right here. <laughs> uh, so this little map right here is the maze. I think there's, what's, what does he say right here? Hidden inside the green block is an amazing metal cap. Wearing it, you won't catch fire or be hurt by enemy attack. You, you don't even have to breathe while wearing it, so... The only problem, you can't swim in it. Um, so there's gonna be like uh, some stuff underneath here. That's yeah. Beware of the strange cloud. Don't inhale. If you feel faint, uh, run higher ground and fresh and fresh air. Uh, circle is the shelters. Arrows are the entrance and entrance. Yeah, entrance and exits. <laughs> okay, good to know. So here we go. Here's the maze <laughs> and uh, toxic. Beware. 
Okay. I think there's also a secret. Let's see if I can do this properly. It, it probably works better. Actually, this probably works better if I put on the metal cap switch. Because these guys... It's kind of funny if you do this. Let's see if I can do this properly. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they give us extra lives. But you don't actually... It doesn't really, like, um, keep uh, spawning extra lives, so... I, I thought that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways. So, um... How do we go by doing this? I think one way I'm do I'm gonna probably do this is show off the one of the uh, probably one of the most difficult stars in the game, and that's basically finding the uh, actual ending. Oh god! And that's probably that's probably just finding the actual like ending of the maze. And I think this way leads to it. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna take care of this right now. Excuse me, bat. I think you might be Sir Swoop in this game. I'm not so sure, but. They, they, they are essentially bats, so I'm just going to ignore bats. Alright, do a little ground pound on the, on the elevator. <laughs> do a little dip break dance. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I remember this spot. Okay. This believes... Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, we're going to be just doing this star right here. I think that box over there... Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. It's probably just some like extra life or coins or whatever. So let's just go ahead and take care of this. I already got 50 coins too, so I mean I could have possibly done the 100 coins mission. I don't know. I'm still thinking about just doing that later. Uh, I want to take care of like a couple of these stars first that are kind of easy to get, like this one. There's another one like right over like in this area too that I can grab. But anyways, that was star number 46. We're probably gonna grab one more star and probably call it for the end because I think we got about two stars in this mission. Yep. So, elevate for eight red coins is still there. Uh, that was the amazing emergency exit. Um, let's just go back and do this. And um, we're gonna go back to the underground maze part. I wanna take care of this like right, right away. So, this. It's probably one of the more harder stars in, in this level to get. And it actually, it really took me quite a bit of uh, <laughs> time to get this star, because I had no idea how to get this one. And uh, I think this is probably everyone's, like, hated star mission in this level, particularly level. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab Metal Mario again. Come here, Metal Mario. I'm going to just... Uh, swing by this area and um, we're, we're gonna be ignoring this door because that leads us back up to that little spot but more importantly this little area right here where there's like a little tr like trails of like the green stuff here oh god yeah there's an extra platform right here and a door that leads to probably one of the more iconic stars maybe because that star that's like on the other side of this spot right here that's always just taunting me is right here so we're just gonna be grabbing that I think probably we can do one more star and uh, probably get through that there we go navigating the toxic maze is probably one of the most tricky stars to get because when I first played this game like that star in general was just like the big star that took forever to find and I had no idea about that, that, that path up there. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go this way now. I'm sorry if I'm going, like, I think I might have said this like in the very beginning, but I am, I don't care if I'm going out of order. Um, I'd rather just like go for the stars that I can easily just get. And um, that's just the way I play this game sometimes. It's a little bit different, I know, but still. Um, so right here, uh, there is some spots we can wall jump, and believe it or not, there is a star. I'm, I'm pretty sure they got rid of this star in the in the DS version. I think they might have took that star out. I didn't want to go in here. <laughs> um, I think they yeah they might have they might have taken this star out on the on the DS version. So, man, Mario, I cannot wall jump today. There we go. So there's some spots up here, and over on this side, is another star. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> There we go. Get star number 48. 
done. Alrighty, so that's probably gonna be it. Watching for Rolling Rocks was the last star. I believe this counts, yeah, this probably counts as the last star. So I'm gonna save and continue and see, yeah. That was the sixth star. So we got two more stars left, and of course the 100 coin missions to go in Hazy Maze Cave. And we're pretty much working, making progress. So, um, my question for you guys is, what did you think of E3 in general? Like, did you think it was like, for me personally, I thought it was a little bit underwhelming in some spots, but I don't know. There were some surprising announcements that I liked, so... Let me know what you guys think about E3 in the comments below, and I will see you folks later. We're going to take care of the rest of World 6, and uh, yeah, that's going to be that. I'm Tennis Bubba 13. I will see you folks on the flip side. Thank you, Mario, for proving my point. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.